Hey guys, I'm Alex Beaker, Martinsville's Ford expert at Race Scum and Hoosier Ford in Martinsville, Indiana. And today we're going to look at the beautiful and luxurious 2016 Ford Explorer Platinum. I'm going to go in depth over the exterior and the interior features on there. Before I begin, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, give me a couple thumbs up on this video, and of course, share with friends and family. Any questions? My contact information is in the box below. Feel free to call me or text me anytime. You can also leave comments down below and I'll get to those questions as well. And now, let's begin. Looking under the hood of the 2016 Ford Explorer Platinum, you notice the standard and only engine available, which would be the 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo engine with 365 horsepower and 365 foot-pounds of torque. Something you immediately notice here are these LED lights with the surround, LED surround around the headlights, this beautiful honeycomb grill, and the nice fog lights at the bottom there on the vehicle. You have sensors here on the front bumper for the adaptive cruise control. And you have a forward facing camera also. And these help to see what's out in front of you when you're pulling out of a parking spot. Something you also notice unique to this vehicle is these 20 inch wheels, aluminum wheels, they're really pretty with the Hankook 20 inch tires, the satin mirror caps and turn signal indicators in the mirror, satin chrome door handles as well, of course keyless entry. Vehicle does have a blind spot monitoring system, so if someone's in your blind spot, a little orange light will light up here on both sides of the vehicle. Entry into your new 2016 Explorer is easy. You just put your handle here. As long as you got the key on you, it'll open up. Want to lock the door? Put your thumb here. As you notice, the mirror falls in. Now, we're going to open that door back up. You also notice the five digit keypad here. And what that does is there's a five digit code that belongs to this vehicle that can get you in the vehicle as well as lock the doors for you as well. First thing you notice in the interior is this beautiful Nirvana soft cream leather and wood finish here on the door as well as chrome handles here. This is where you set your memory seating. All you do for that is once you get your mirrors which are right here, your power adjustable steering your tilt and telescope here and your power pedals in check as well as your seat functions which is forward and back up and down the seat back and then your lumbar here and then this button in the center switches between your lumbar adjustments and the massaging seat function exclusive to this vehicle but once you set that up all you do is hold this button down until it beeps and your memory seats are set it's just that easy Here's where you adjust your mirrors, your power folding function, window locks, and then your mirror, all your window adjustments right here. You have your off position for your lights, daytime running lights on, and the automatic set and forget it function right there, which I would personally recommend. Fog lights. Okay. And then you have your instrument cluster backlighting right here as well right here is where your hatch release is and tow hole mode for this vehicle if you should you be towing with it this button here turns on the lights inside the cabin of this vehicle on the steering wheel here you notice you have this five-way pad here which interacts with this screen here on the left you have two trip meters. If you want to select anything, you just hit this OK button. You have two trip meters here. You back out by hitting the left button. It takes you back to the main screen. You have two fuel economy screens. Driver assist. I'll zoom in here. You can turn off any of the driver assist features like the lane keeping system, pre-collision warning, trailer sway control traction control you can all you can do all these things from there and then the settings is where you make adjustments to the vehicle 
as far as how the door locks work, the lighting on the exterior of the vehicle, DTE calculation, and a few other things here. Zoom back out here. You have your adjustments for your cruise control, and then for the adaptive cruise control, which I have set to be on permanently at this point, you use this button to decrease the distance and increase the distance you maintain behind the vehicle that's ahead of you. Of course, turn it on and off and resume and cancel. This pad here adjusts things in that center screen right there. And you have your answer call and, and in call button here. And these also will skip through your presets on your radio so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. Your voice command button, your mute button, and of course your volume buttons are here. You'll notice you have paddle shifter here and here. This, thing, this lowers the gear when you have it in sport mode. This increases to the next gear. Okay. Now, and this, but this will adjust your headlights to brights. This will adjust your rain wipers. We'll adjust the delay on them, as well as turn the automatic function on and off. It's your four-wheel drive control. Now the Explorer has a terrain management system, so as you look at these three pictures, you twist it out once, that's your mud and rut mode. You do it a second time, sand mode, and then also you have snow grass and gravel mode. Basically what this does is, depending on the surface you're on, the Explorer changes how the four-wheel drive system works to adapt to that situation to best maximize traction, which is great for you. Now, to turn this back to regular two-wheel drive mode, just pop that back all the way to the left. In the center, you have a hill descent control, which can be set between 20, 0 and 20 miles an hour. So if you're going down a steep grade, you push this, you set the speed with your brake, and then... Once you're going down that hill, you'll keep your foot off the brake because this vehicle will brake for you and brake each wheel individually to get you down safely, which is great. You'll notice you have a push button start. This vehicle also has remote start equipped on it. You have a garage door opener up top here. Sunglass area to store your sunglasses. But this is to tilt your sunroof slide and then to open the beautiful shade which I'm going to just show you real quick. Alright, I'm going to open the back portion of it too. As you can see, it's got a great sunroof. The front section opens, the rear just has the window like that so you get a nice view of the sunny Indiana sky. Right here is your camera button for your front camera. So you have this mode here. You hit it again. I call this like a peripheral vision mode. That's not a Ford uh, official title, but that's what I use it for. You have your adaptive park assist button here so if you want to parallel park this vehicle or will have the vehicle do it for itself and what it will do is it uses the sensors in the front and the back of the vehicle judges the distance it does all the steering for you now all you have to do is adjust the shifter here and then use the gas and brake and watch the cameras and it will parallel park itself which is amazing and this is your rear park sensors you can turn those on and off your hazards, your eject button, all your climate control buttons are down here. Right now I have the air conditioned seat on because it's like almost 90 degrees today. You have your heated seat for the driver, air conditioned and heated for the passenger. If you want to adjust these, this is in the highest setting and we're working our way down as the lights go away until it's off. I'm going to turn that back on because it's really hot today. You have an auto dimming mirror here, you notice. Here in the center, you have a smart charging USB port. The SD slot holds the maps for the navigation system. If you're wanting to charge your phone fast or your device, 
charge it right here. And you have a 12 volt also. The thing you notice here, you have a USB port here and a little slot here in the side or over here as well. And what that's designed for is to run your cord through so it doesn't get smashed. A little coin holder and a nice storage area underneath. Next we're looking at the glove box, which you have a huge shelf up here and then the lower shelf there as well. Next we're going to look at the second row of the vehicle. On your center screen here you also have adjustments for your AC, your heated seat, and your heated steering wheel, which is very nice on those cold days. In the second row of the 2016 Platinum Explorer you have two bucket seats with a center console. You notice the inflatable rear seat belts that have a section here that fills up with air and drives that into the belt so it spreads the impact across a greater surface so it's less harmful to you in the event of the accident or your passengers you have a button here that folds this down and something really cool and the second row is power folding so i push this button folds that easily Gives you access to the third row seating here in the back. I'll go ahead and fold that back down. You notice you have a adjustment here to lean the seat back, and you also have a bar here to slide the seat forward and back to get you more comfortable. You have these map pockets here on each side of the vehicle. The rear passengers have control of their air conditioning, temperature, and fan speed. They have heated seats on both sides. They know they can control the direction where the air is coming from, either the top, up here, or down on the floor. They have a, two USB ports. These are also smart charging, so they're really fast. And an AC outlet also for their devices. A couple cup holders. And a storage area here. Pull the tray out and it has a really deep pocket as well. You also have cup holders here in the center as well as in the doors and in the center of the center console which is very nice. So you have plenty of cup holders for the long trip with the kids. Looking at the rear of the vehicle you immediately notice these, the satin bottom down here and the dual exhaust and the cutout for the tow hitch as well and you have this beautiful backup camera here to help you back up easily as well as backup sensors across the rear of the vehicle getting access to the rear hatch in this vehicle is really simple with the foot activated lift gate all you do Put your foot underneath here, kick. And the lift gate opens up just that easy. In the rear of the vehicle here, you have access to your hatch, closing it right here, or you can do it with the foot activated lift gate. You have a 12 volt port here in the back, as well as all the buttons for your stow and fold functions on your third row seats. For example, if you would like to stow the seats, right now I have it in the middle here, so it will do both at the same time. I'll just hit the stow button. And you see how easily those go into position, so you have the extra room in the back. Now if I want to return this to the normal mode here, I just hit the normal button. Seats fold up back into the normal position. The only thing you have to do once those get in position, if you want them up, is you lift these headrests up. And as you can see, if you want a little more visibility, pull those out. It's that easy.